Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and we've got company in our neck of the solar system. The comet Ison has just passed the Earth's orbit and is making almost a beeline for the Sun. That means you can now see it in the early morning with the unaided eye. Astronomers are saying this may be the big galactic event to see for the past 300 years, so make sure you get out there and do that. I'll tell you where to go, the best times to see it, and whether you need to pick something up to see it better. Now there will be two good periods of opportunity for seeing Comet Ison at its brightest and most magnificent. The first period is from now through November 28th. This is as it's heading in towards the Sun. It's then going to do a slingshot around the back and then come out the other side. Scientists are a little concerned that it may break up in the process. That's when the most stress is on it is when it's very close to the Sun and it's going so fast and gravity is doing that force to bring it around. So if it breaks up there may not be much to see after it passes the Sun. It may turn into a cloud of stones and sand that would become a meteor shower for us at some time in the future. But to have your best chance to see it, I'd suggest you get it going in because it's got the best chance of staying together and putting on a really good show. People really don't know exactly how bright it will get, but some people are saying that right before it passes behind the sun, it may actually be as bright as the full moon. There may be a giant millions of miles long tail behind it. Something really impressive, something you definitely want to see, you want to get your kids out there to see. Now to have a chance to see Comet Ison, you need good weather, if it's cloudy of course you'll miss the whole show, and a good alarm clock that can wake you up, oh, at least 45 minutes, an hour before sunrise, so that by maybe at the latest a half hour before sunrise, you can get out into the backyard or some dark place to have a look at the eastern sky where the sun comes up. Tomorrow morning is November 19th and you can, the landmarks in the sky to find it, basically look towards where you can, you know, the brightest spot where the sun will rise. And above that and to the right, you should see one star that sort of stands out as brighter than the other. It's called Spica. It's in the constellation Virgo. And much down closer towards the horizon will be Mercury, which is, will, should be fairly bright, but it uh, appears to be much closer to the Sun when you look at it, so by the time you see Mercury, the sky may already be brightening beyond where you can see the comet. But those would be the places to look between that bright star Spica and the planet Mercury. That's where you'll see the comet, and each day it'll move, apparently, looks like closer to Mercury until it gets so close to the Sun that you may not be able to see it, or you, there may be a giant light in the sky right next to the Sun. Now if at this point you're asking yourself, which way is east again? Don't worry, there's actually an app for this. There was an app that came out when Comet Pan Stars was making uh, its big debut. I use that app to help uh, find it in the sky. Wasn't dead on, but it would get you pretty close and pretty much let you know when the comet at least had set so you wouldn't stay out there looking for it after it was down past the horizon. So I just went online and sure enough there's a Comet Ison Finder, just go to the App Store and type, on, type in Ison, I-S-O-N, and you should find it. And it's showing me, it, it gives you a big arrow that points which way you've got to move your phone to find it. And it's sort of an overlay of the stars, um, planets, and some other features that you might be able to use to find your way. If I look here, the arrow has pointed me, that's where the comet is right now. And there's the sun, and so yeah, it's getting on in the afternoon here, so sure enough it's going to go down again. So since the comet goes down before the sun, you won't have a chance to see it in the evening. Your only chance will be early in the morning before sunrise. So, you've got your good weather, you've got your app to find the comet, you've got your alarm clock to wake you up in the morning. Do you need anything else to see this comet? Do you have to go out, for example, and spend $500 to buy a very nice telescope? No, and it really won't get you anything. With Remember what you're looking at is a rock that's extruding gas and whatnot, so it's basically a fuzzy ball with the tail. If you look at it in the telescope, you will see a big fuzzy ball, but you're not going to see any detail on it, and you won't see the tail behind it because the field of view will be too narrow. The ideal thing is your own eyes to see it, because then you can appreciate, especially if it has a long tail, the other stars, the horizon, the silhouettes, and so forth. But if you do want to see it, closer than what you can with your own eyes, or if you have eye issues that won't let you quite make it out sharp, you might want to pick up a pair of binoculars. Now any binoculars will help, even a $20 pair will get you some magnification on it and make it a little bit brighter, but if you're serious about taking advantage of this limited opportunity to see this great celestial sight, you're going to want a pair of astronomical binoculars, and what makes them different, if you look at them here, is the size of the lenses in large part, 
These are 10 by 50 binoculars and these are 15 by 70. So this is 10 times magnification, this is 15 times magnification, but really more important, the, the size of the lenses, the 50 versus the 70, the larger lenses can gather that much more light and focus it into your eyeball. So looking with these binoculars, anything I'm looking at in the sky is going to appear brighter and with more detail than looking through these binoculars. The one other consideration though, if you're viewing with small children, of course they want to have a turn with the binoculars, these are a lot easier for them to hold and a lot less expensive if and when they drop them. These binoculars are, I don't know, two something pounds. So even my nine year old, when we've gone out in the evening to look at things after just, you know, 10, 15 seconds, she says her arms are tired. So I have to hold the, the heavy part, the lens part up for her so she can look at things. So if you have little kids, you might want to go with less expensive binoculars. But if you'd like to see it with what I think is the best tool to look at the comet. It's these Celestron Skymaster binoculars. I like the 15 by 70. You can get them with larger magnification, bigger lenses, but then they get heavier, they get longer. These are about the biggest that I can hold and hold steady for some time looking at different objects in the sky. This comes with a tripod adapter, so it's a piece that screws on here, comes down here, and you can slide it onto a standard tripod. Then you don't have to hold it. You can get it pointed at what you're looking at, and everyone can take a turn to look through them. Now these are also called giant binoculars for the obvious reason and uh, it used to be these would be like $120 but they started making them in China and, and they're well made but the price has dropped about in half so it's 60 something dollars for this pair of binoculars right now. I'll put a link to it down below in case you're interested in checking it out and you can still order it with second day delivery if you'd like to get it before we get to the really big part of the Comet Ison show closer to the 28th. So whether you have a nice telescope, an inexpensive telescope, a cheap pair of binoculars, some binoculars that are really good for looking at the sky, the main thing is to get out there, you and your kids, and take advantage of this possibly once every 300 year opportunity. If you sleep through this event, how are you going to feel the next day? Well, I know, well rested, but still, get out there and see it. Yeah.